Hello, everybody. I'm Ricky Smith, and this is Faith on Friday Presents. At Faith on Friday Presents, we're all about highlighting inspiring people, engaging topics, and small businesses. So while you're here, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. It means everything to us. So let me tell you this. We've all heard about having babies. You get pregnant, your water breaks, you go to the hospital, you scream and moan, you choke out your husband, and then you have a baby. Well, I want to introduce you to somebody who decided to do it differently. You all say hello to my friend Tia Bottom. Hi, Tia. Hi, how are you? I'm so good. Thank you so much for joining me, my friend, because this is going to be hilarious. Uh, it's something. <laughs> it's definitely different. So you heard in the introduction, people have babies pretty much the same way. But you, my friend, are so special. Yeah. Tell us uh, a little bit about how your baby journey started. <laughs> so I'm a military spouse and um, I did everything normal <laughs> until mm. the end. Mm. So, um, well, actually at nine weeks on, I was having contractions, hard contractions, and it was my second child. And mm. I kind of knew the ropes right. and I I've actually studied to be a midwife on my own. I didn't, not formally, um, Okay. but I wow. love the birthing process, the miracle of all the things. So oh my uh, gosh, you know, it, it kind of, I should have known. <laughs> Wait, you said at nine weeks, you were yeah. having hard contractions yes. at nine weeks. So I, when you said nine weeks, I was thinking, wait, yeah, that's normal. And then I thought, oh my gosh, you said weeks. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, what was that all about? Um, I believe it was from the Graves disease. So mm. I have a hyperthyroid and it's triggered by pregnancy. Okay. Um, I knew it was hard contractions because sure. it hurt. And yeah. <laughs> I have a daughter who five years prior, I had her mm. naturally in the hospital, like by the book, okay. everything was very normal. <laughs> average I guess and um so with this one I was like oh these aren't Braxton Hicks so right. I was in a high risk uh for miscarriage so I laid around a lot mm -hmm. um and then the week that I was due uh I was due on March um 15th and on March 11th I decided to have a barbecue with friends that were from out of town sure and, as you do and <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, a couple of days before I'm due, I'm going to make sure I have people over, have a barbecue, and do all of the work. Perfect. Yeah. I, yeah. What could what could go wrong? Nothing. Like, I mean, I figured, I you know when you're in labor. That's what I've right. always said to everybody. You'll know when you're in mm -hmm. labor. Mm -hmm. Not me, because. <laughs> yeah, because in nine weeks, you're having hard contractions. Right. Okay. So you decide so... to have a barbecue. <laughs> Yep. Made shrimp scampi. My husband made something on the grill mm -hmm. and we were playing rock band. I don't know if you know this. Yes, so this is back I remember. in 2009. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I was the singer. Band. So I sang all through mm -hmm. this and I felt them and I knew that they were coming on more, but mm -hmm. I thought it was because I was on my feet all day and I was entertaining sure. and I was, it's a little bit stressful, but you like hanging out. Right. So, right. And I was talking through them and breathing through them. So I didn't mm -hmm. think it was. Did other people notice that you were having contractions or were you that good? Not real, not really. I mean, I was like, mm, like occasionally. Right. But they were like, are you sure? And I'm like, I'm talking through them. Like the, all <laughs> the fine. textbooks say. <laughs> I'm okay. Yeah. So if you, Go if get you the macaroni it, was... salad. I'm fine. <laughs> Right. If you think about it, I was probably just super women by then. Like my muscles were just like, we know what we're, what's going on. Right. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> That's my own assessment. I just... <laughs> <laughs> um, so then my friends leave and within a half an hour, I was like, I am tired. I'm going to go lay down. I had right. my, <clears throat> excuse me, cottage cheese mm -hmm. that helped with heartburn and it right. had to be live active cottage cheese. <laughs> 
And um, and then I felt like, mm, this isn't really slowing down. Maybe I should go get checked. And I got up. Wow. And I was kind of doing my rocking thing. So mm -hmm. when you're in labor, you want to kind of like stretch your hip muscles. So I knew that. So I was doing my little mm -hmm. sway and right. all of a sudden my water broke. And wow. okay, wait, down to my ankles. <laughs> wow. So wait, so you've had a barbecue, you've entertained, you've played rock band. You decide after I'm a little tired, I'm going to go lay down. How long between the guests leaving and you laying down and your water breaking, how long between that time? Like 20 minutes. Really? Yeah, they weren't. Yeah, they were so mad. <laughs> <laughs> um, by the So they had, okay, let me, <laughs> they had time to turn around and meet me at the hospital. Wow. Okay. You there. said meet you. Y'all pay attention. Because remember, she just said meet her at the hospital. Hold yeah. that place. Go ahead, Tia. So water breaks, my pants fall down to the floor. So right. I waddle to the toilet because, you know, stuff is coming. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and my husband's like, can you make it to the car? And mm -hmm. I reach down and his head is right there. And you're I talking was about like, your, your baby's head, not your husband, baby's head. Just to clarify. Crowning. So, <laughs> you're on the toilet and yeah. the baby's <laughs> head is crowning. Yes. Okay. And I said, I'm not making it anywhere. Call 911. Mm -hmm. And he gets on the phone and I was like, I don't feel well. Can I have a bucket? Like I thought I was going to throw up. I didn't. Right. But, um, and another contraction came and my husband's looking at me and two pushes. Baby comes out. I lay him on my lap. And my husband looks like a deer in headlights. Like me right now? Yeah. Exactly. So wait, you're sitting on the toilet. I stood up. Oh, okay. And so there's a little thing that you have to do when you're having a baby. You have to like twist the head a little bit for the shoulders. Okay. And I kind of knew that. And it was so fast. And I just kind of loop and like had him by the neck and the rump and put him on my lap. And I'm those... still with the deer in headlight look right now. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to picture this, girl. You are sitting on the toilet, heads crowning. You stand up, two pushes, grab said head. Are y'all getting this visual? Grab <laughs> said head, spin him, bring him out, sit back down on said toilet, and put this baby on your lap. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And I, my husband, shock, right? <laughs> yeah, thanks. He's like, can you get a towel or a blanket? And he goes and gets a towel. And I have okay. pictures of my baby wrapped in a towel. Oh my god! And all I said was, he's got blonde hair. Because I have jet black hair. <laughs> and my daughter has dark hair. So right. I was like, oh, he's like my little Cabbage Patch doll that I had growing up. And you um, had a baby on a toilet and cabbage <laughs> patch is what came to your mind. Okay. It's just me. Go ahead. <laughs> and my husband was uh, obviously freaking out. <laughs> he was like, is he breathing? What's going on? Right. And, um, what's funny is that funnier is that <laughs> my husband, when I was like, yeah, let's go get checked out. He calls his mother who lives about three hours away. So, because we had a plan that she was going to sure. come going to have tons of time so she could stay mm -hmm. with my daughter right. and um she's like well I can't tonight I just took Tylenol PM like it was like it was after nine o'clock okay so like, mom's like you're on your own bro <laughs> and she's like just you know call me in the morning she'll mm -hmm. be in labor it'll be fine he calls wow. her 10 minutes later and was like the baby's here and she's like wait what <laughs> no. instantly sober from Tylenol PM I'm like what happened <laughs> Right. And she's, she could hear the baby crying in the background. Wow. So she knew it wasn't a joke. <laughs> I'm serious. Yeah. Holy cow. I, I freaked out my sister-in-law because she, she actually had my niece 10 days later, but she was mm. so scared <laughs> the entire time. <laughs> and I was like, this is not normal. This doesn't happen like this. <laughs> I've never heard of this. So there you are. <laughs> on the toilet, baby in lap, wrapped in a towel. Mm -hmm. And then I what happens? Shocked. 
I pinched off the um, the uh, umbilical cord to make sure that the flow wasn't going sure. back and forth. Mm -hmm. And um, and then the the firemen came. And right. they came into my bathroom with a stretcher and they were like, oh my gosh. And they, they were like, you don't understand. This is wonderful. Mm. And they took my blood pressure and they were like, you have the best blood pressure we've ever seen. I was like, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> and they were like, who wants to cut the cord? And my husband was like, I do. Like I'm, right. here. I'm here now. Yeah. Wow. Yep. So, uh, we have pictures of them in my bathroom, like, <laughs> you know, and <laughs> yeah. And I took, um, my son's name is Carson. I took mm -hmm. him a, w a week later to the mm -hmm. firehouse and I have pictures. Oh, with them that's and awesome. And, um, they were so excited. And I, I had my baby in my arms and yeah. I started to breastfeed as we went to the hospital and Holy cow. Uh, it didn't hit me until two days later when I went home. Mm -hmm. and, well, wait, Tia, I'm going to yeah. back you up a little bit because remember, y'all, our friends are at the hospital waiting. <laughs> yeah. Start right there, girl. <laughs> yep. They uh, they get there and um, they're the first ones to hold. I mean, besides me and my husband, yeah, sure. Uh, they got to hold him and I have pictures of that. And they were like, really? <laughs> you like, I just missed it because it was it was my best friend. Wow. Too. So she was so upset. She missed it, but they were so excited to meet him. Like they didn't know, like when they were going to yeah. be able to come again. So it right. worked out. Oh my yeah. gosh. You are the only person I've ever met to have their baby on the toilet in the bathroom. <laughs> I have brothers and sisters and I'm thinking of all the things that I would be calling them knowing that you were born in the bathroom. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> How yep. old is said bathroom baby now? He just turned 14 oh, and um, he is a joy. He is wonderful. And his sister did pick on him. Um, there is one incident. Uh, I, he left the door open mm. and as a mom does, I was like, were you raised in a barn? No, I don't think so. Right. Close the door. And his sister was like, no, but he was born in a toilet. So <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I love that so much. Wow. First of all, Tia, thank you for your service as a military spouse. Anybody that is in the military or has been a military spouse understands our members are not the only ones that serve. So thank you for that. Girl, thanks for holding down the fort and having a baby in the bathroom when honey made it home. I'm just I, I don't even know where to go from that. That's amazing. <laughs> well, thank you for the support. And thank you for all that you've done in the service on both uh, sides as well. Yeah. You're amazing. Thank you. And for all, that. Three I sides. So yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Your child and uh, our children. How many? One. Just okay. yeah. The and one. My daughter there. joined as well. Yeah. So, yes. Uh, That's awesome. Different. Yeah, it is very different. And <laughs> and having a baby at home for military spouses is probably like, yeah, I could I can see that. <laughs> yeah. <That makes> sense. <laughs> yeah. I mean, so I always wanted a home birth, so I guess I got did it. You, like, that was, that you was, did was, want a home birth. Yeah, they just didn't they didn't do them at the time where uh, I was. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know. Yeah. Wow. No. <laughs> That's just so not my jam, but yeah, you go girl with your bad self. So Tia, what do you do for a living as a military spouse? We have to usually find a new job everywhere we go or take one with us. What is it that you do? So I have my own photography business and coaching business. Okay. Um, it's aimed for money, but how you do money is how you do everything. And it's very geared toward um, female entrepreneurs that are future thinking. And okay. I do branding photography, um, for anybody really like mm -hmm. if you want branding <laughs> uh, <clears throat> and my company is called uh time marker legacy and mm -hmm. you can find that on my website and uh awesome. i love what i do i love working with people and i can take it anywhere so it's great yeah that is good where are you guys stationed at right now Currently, we are at Fort Bragg, soon to be Fort Liberty, starting June mm, 1st. Yeah, I know. I saw that. Isn't that funny? We're changing yes. it. So, Tia, if someone wanted to reach out to you and basically just give you their birth stories or find out more about you and your business, where can they reach you? 
you can reach me at timemarkerlegacy.com or um, Time Marker Photography, Legacy Living with Tia. I'm everywhere. I'm everywhere. On YouTube. <laughs> I'm everywhere. But if you just go to the website, it'll have mm -hmm. all of my links and um, freebies, all mm -hmm. of those things. So, yes. That's awesome. Don't worry, y'all. If y'all didn't get that information, all of her contact info is going to be in the description below. So make sure to check it out. And don't forget, while you're here, subscribe, like, and share. And if you or someone you know has an inspiring story or a topic we have to talk about or a small business that needs to be highlighted, go over to our website at faithonfriday.com. Tia, my friend, before Yay. I let you go, yeah, play a game. <laughs> I love games. I love games. So this game is called This or That. And it's really simple. I'm going to give you the choice of two things in you. Off the top of your head, just tell me which one you like the best. Are you ready to play? Yes. Let's do this. Flowers or plants? Oh, plants. Okay. Hotel or tent? Hotel. Water park or amusement park? Amusement park. Okay. Practical joker or I don't play like that? I don't play like that. <laughs> you weren't sure there, Tia. I don't, I don't know. Well, <laughs> I will tell you that all of these answers... I would do either. <laughs> like, it's very hard to pick. <laughs> so it depends on the day is what you're saying. Right, right. I got you. Okay. Candlelight or moonlight? Oh, moonlight. Okay. I'm a planner or I just make it up as I go. Oh, 100% planner. This one I know for sure. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt in your mind. You, so if you were going to play a practical joke, you would have planned it well in a bit. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. I see where you're going. Okay. <laughs> Go all day or I need a nap. I need a nap. Me too. I love a nap. Oh my gosh. When you're talking, do you say pecan or pecan? <laughs> pecan. Okay. When you meet somebody, what's the first thing you notice? Their eyes or their smile? Smile. And are you a words of affirmation person or are you more of an acts of service kind of girl? Oh. Oh, it depends on the words of affirmation. <laughs> Again, y'all, it depends on the day. And <laughs> finally, Tia, what would you tell your 13-year-old self right now? Oh, that you are beautiful and you were made for so much that you can't even see in front of you right now. And that makes me want to cry. <laughs> oh, don't cry because you are apparently living it out, even though you didn't get to go back and tell yourself that thing right now. You're doing great things. Tia, thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate you being here. I appreciate you. You're a beautiful person inside and out, and I'm so glad to know you. Oh, the pleasure is all mine. And for you all watching, that's it for this time. But we'll be back with more Faith on Friday Presents.